Hi, this is Ms. Delosier, and these are your notes on nucleic acids, um, so DNA or RNA. So nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, right? We're all familiar with those. Um, that is your hereditary material. It's your hereditary information. It's on your chromosomes. It's in your genes, whatever you want to say about it. It's your nucleic acids, all right? And they're made of monomers of nucleotides. All right, so DNA is made up of four nucleotides, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, and then RNA is made up of um, A, G, C, and U, and we're going to review that again in a second. So let's look at what a nucleotide is first. So a nucleotide is made up of a sugar to start. Um, so we have a sugar, and in DNA, our sugar is deoxyribose, which is a five-carbon sugar. In RNA... Our sugar is ribose. So let's look at um, this five carbon sugar and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach it to a phosphate group. Now because that phosphate is negatively charged this is going to provide an overall negative charge to my DNA which means DNA is most definitely charged which means it is most definitely going to be hydrophilic. Um, so it's going to like water. Uh, so I'm going to take my phosphate group, attach it to a sugar, and then it's going to attach to the working end, which is the nitrogen base. And this is a super generic nitrogen base. That's not, that's a made up nitrogen base. Don't think there's one that looks like that. So that's my nitrogen base. Okay. And so that, all three of those together make up a nucleotide. Um, when we did these in class, I just had you make the base because we didn't have enough large enough kits to make the, the sugar and the phosphate group too. So let's go ahead and let's look at the basic structure of DNA. So DNA, you have a yellow sugar, or you're going to have a yellow phosphate group attached to a white sugar, right? So yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, white. So what, basically what I have is I have this backbone going down the sides that's phosphate sugar, phosphate sugar, phosphate sugar, phosphate sugar. And then hanging off the sides, hanging off the sides, you end up getting the nitrogen bases. Um, and the nitrogen bases, because DNA is two stranded, right? The nitrogen bases stick off towards each other and they form like the rungs of a ladder and they, they bind together through hydrogen bonding. They are all of the bonds in what I've got drawn here are covalent bonds. But when I actually have like A and T next to each other, they're going to form hydrogen bonds, okay? They're not going to actually form a covalent bond across the strands. They form a hydrogen, they actually form many hydrogen bonds. So that's my DNA structure. That's a single stranded structure, but we made it DNA. It's a single stranded DNA. So let's talk about the five types of nucleotides. So my five nitrogen bases, there's only five nitrogen bases. There's adenine, which always pairs to thiamine in DNA and then guanine, which always pairs to cytosine in DNA. And then in RNA, I have uracil, okay? Um, so adenine and guanine are what we call purines, which basically just means that they're double ring structures. So see the double ring structures below? Like, they're, don't memorize them. That, that's a waste of your energy. But they're double ring structures. Adenine and guanine are double rings. Um, thymine and cytosine and uracil are what we call pyrimidines. And I always remember um, this because uracil is the shortest of the nucleotides and it's a single ring, um, so single ring, but it's the long word. Um, pyrimidines sounds like it should be that double ring thing and it's not, so I just remember that I'm, I'm wrong all the time and that the shortest word, uracil, is a single ring and goes with like the long pyramid type thing. That's how I remember it. I don't know how you're going to remember it, but you need to know that. Um, so uracil is going to bind to adenine. So if I have an adenine in my um, in my DNA, when I make a, an RNA copy of that, it would go A to U. Um, and we're going to do activities on that in class. So those are my five nitrogen bases. Um, and so in DNA, I'm going to have a double strand and I'm going to have A, T, G, and C. So I'm going to put like a little yellow check mark next to all four of those. And then in RNA, RNA is single stranded. And I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have 
A, U, G, and C. So I'm going to put a pink check mark next to A, U, G, and C. And so that's your basics on the monomers of nucleic acids. Um, and that's really all I want to talk about on DNA and RNA for these notes because we're going to spend like an entire unit on DNA and RNA and, and like how we actually make proteins out of them. I just want you to know the components of DNA and RNA and how they go together. So the backbone is all covalently bound. Across the strands is going to be hydrogen bonding. And then you do need to be familiar with the five bases, which ones are purines and which ones are pyrimidines. If you have any questions, um, come see me in class or send me an email.